<laughs> North Korea stunned no. me still. Stop saying that. <laughs> Stop saying that. I'm, I don't want to be Josh, get the bleeps. Video. Start bleeping them bits up. <laughs> What's going on, people? Welcome to the player ratings after our emphatic 4-0 dismantlement Mantis. of bottom of the table Norwich. Oh God, Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can all go watch match of the day, yeah, yeah. then watch match of the day too, yeah. then watch the, then, then watch the reruns on United's Instagram. Yeah. Do you know what? You know, they done a highlights thing of the nil-nil at Wolves. I thought you taking the piss out of me. I was pissed. But anyway, um, it's a big player rating today. Everyone's involved. Um, they've been tasked with one player only. One player each and we move on, yeah? This is not a democracy. You can't have your say on every single thing. So, <laughs> hey, no political views. No political views. We're not, we're, we're a football channel. We're not, we're not into that. <laughs> uh, side. Uh, David De Gea. David De Gea, mate. Um, I was critical of him against Man City. I thought he was poor. For me, he looked like he looked like he's devoid of any passion, man. I thought, is this the end of David De Gea? But today, looking at the game today, I thought, apart from one crucial save, and I feel like that's one of his highlights. That low, low sense of gravity. He's got that, you know, big save hand, and I thought he did well for that. That, that was a crucial time in the game for me. So, you know, what I mean, I thought that like, he did well there. Didn't have much really to to, to, to play for. You know, what I mean, I thought we kept our shape. We kept our. I thought that that their strike was poor today. So yeah, man, I, no more than seven today. I thought it was brilliant. I agree with that. Todd Cantwell at the end of the half, one nil. Yeah. You know, and then De Gea has to pull out a big save. That's that's like classic yeah. David De Gea, that innit? Um, one Bissaka, Mars. Yeah, Wan Bissaka. I mean, great defensively as as he always is. Um, there was that one point in the game. Obviously, I sat behind you where. Mm. Um, if he was the last man, and if um, the guy knocked it past him, he was through. He was through. He got it twice as well. He got it <laughs> twice as well. And thing is, I didn't see that he was the last man until Literally, yeah. until the guy got to the ball and then he blocked it. And I was thinking, mm. if that was anyone else other than Wamba Saka, mm. he could have been through on goal. Um, defensively solid. I think what he, where his game lets him down is his attacking um, attacking prowess. Um, there were times when you know he was kind of looking like he was in matter space or like just in his way at some points, making runs that didn't really kind of lead to anything and what and whatnot but i think so with the mix of that i'll give him i'll give him a solid six i'll give him okay. a solid six is but anyone disagreeing with that with I, a six I, I agree with that, wow what are you saying I've, i'm going for a high seven me i thought it's brilliant today for me people doubt his attacking ability i thought today he was probably the best player with battle on that right hand side taking people on cross after crosses there'll be a bit of trickery now which i'm thinking yo i go on man you know what i mean he's learning off the training ground or something you get me but i thought for me today one of our better players i'm gonna give him a seven all right so you guys did seven. agree with the six. Oh, yeah. so you're saying seven seven seven, 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 yeah. seven. all right we'll, we'll put it he, 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 you can tell he, he, yeah he's he, improving he's improving attacking okay him. we'll put it to you guys a six and a seven um I, you know i i i'm kind of more side with miles i thought um <laughs> going forward just just giving giving the ball away a little bit i i, I feel that He's so good defensively, which is fantastic. Be a defender first. I just feel, I've got this little feeling that in, in a year or two, I feel like we, we will potentially be saying the same thing. Right can he, can he, not, not that we need a new right back, but does, does he have the feet? Does he, yeah. does he have the intelligence going forward? But hopefully, you know, if we change the right wing as well and get better players in around there, he can, he can go with that. He's certainly not an issue, but that's just how I feel. Um, right, let's look at the centre backs. Lindelof is next in. Well, it was a joke against City. Yeah. Today, you could tell he didn't give that striker a sniff, man. And that striker is quite good, you know what I mean? Especially the battles. He, he won the battles today. I was looking at him thinking, are you going to react properly? Mm. And he reacted. All of them did, to be fair, but he especially mm. was commanding, controlling, played the right balls. When he made the error, he was quick to recovery. So, yeah, I would give him a seven today. Seven? People happy with a seven? Yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah? yeah. I agree. He passing out of the back as well was yeah. pretty good. Next to him, Harry Maguire, captain today. Seven as well. <laughs> Harry Beckenbauer. He was, he was really commanding today. He looked more like a captain today. He yeah. was commanding. He was giving people instructions. From where we were sitting with Nordin, you could, you could hear him speak, telling people they've got time to pass it, this, that and the other. So looked like a real leader on the pitch today. And I was happy with that. Seven. Seven. Everyone agreeing with seven? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's easy. Nice and easy with the back four and the head. Into midfield, Matic. Another, you know what, man? He surprised me today in that game. I thought maybe... Was it surprising though against Norwich? He, he should be yeah. able to do that. Yeah, well, that's yeah. A, that's the case for it. I thought today in that midfield, I looked at that midfield for Norwich. I thought Buendia, uh, Tete, you know what I mean? They've got technical plays in there. Will he be mobile enough to to basically, you know, play? They, they were playing like in the triangles. Will he be able to cope? But I thought he held his own today. Maybe first half, he gave the ball away a couple of times. And I thought, you know what I mean? The crowd got on top of him, but... 
today was a typical match performance. Give the ball, receive it, give it to the better players. You know what I mean? Try and find the lines. You know what I mean? You know, we defend when you can. And that's what he did today. You know what I mean? That's what you're going to get from Matty. So that's why I don't really expect from him that much. I just think that he shouldn't be relied on every single game. But with the injuries, you know what I mean? He's going to have to play. But for me, today, all in all, I'll give him a seven. I thought he was solid today. That's, that's all I can say. Yeah, I was hoping you'd go for a seven, having said what you said as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, I thought he did the simple things well. Yeah. Kept calm and passed forward where he could with yeah. a bit of with a bit of intent, bit of purpose. I thought he did all right. Seven. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. One of his best performances. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm one of his biggest critics. Yeah. And uh, I was sitting next to her and I was like, he's trying to talk yeah. to me today, man. He's telling me he done well. He done well. He, he done, done really well. well. He did the basics really exactly. good, and he wasn't he wasn't going down uh, dark alleys with the ball like he usually does. Yeah. Man. Um, so Mars. New contract. New contract. No, no, this no, guy, new contract. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Fred. Uh, Fred, do you know what Fred was one of the more the one of the quieter players today in in a team that played really well. I thought, yeah. um, you know, he he didn't affect the game as much as I thought, and he he seemed to be chasing shadows a bit more than usual. Um, where in other games he's been a bit more commanding and whatnot, um, some misplaced passes here and there. But you know what, Fred is growing into his um, into that role, and he's you know. Well, for me, he's you know one of the first names on the on a team sheet in that midfield. Um, I just think today it wasn't really his game in terms of affecting the game as mm. much as as much he could. Even though you know he put through a couple of good through balls uh, to a couple of the players every once in a while. Um, so with that being said, I give Fred a six. For yeah. today. Disagree, no disagree. Mate. Okay, so big disagreements. I I I I see I see where you're coming from there. No, no? Let, let, what do you make of him today? He was brilliant. He, 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 to me, Fred has been in the past, what, five, six games, mm. or we'll say maybe 12 games or 13 years, since he's had a consistent run in the team, yeah. he's been almost seven. So even the, the, where the whole team's had a horrendous game, mm. he's been bothered. Yeah, but what was he today? Today, yeah. today, yeah. today he, he was partly, I mean, we were on pitch side halfway and we, we had that proper view of him. He was tenacious, winning the ball, battling. And you know what, especially in the midfield, he was the guy that the, was looking for the ball and also helping on that side. I think he was on Juan Basaka's side and he was helping him because Nor Norwich were coming down there a bit and he mm. was helping him and keep the ball ticking. There was a connection between Juan Basaka, Fred and Mata mm. on that, especially in the first half. Mm. And I thought the balls kept flying and he was having a couple of, he had a couple of decent shots. Okay. Usually they go sky high, but he yeah. kept them low today. You he know, kept he's been one on target. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So What would you I, give him? I would give him a seven today. Seven. Would you? Yeah. Would you? you you're going with Nuridin said, so it's like a half after. I would give him a six because I thought he was good today, but yeah. it wasn't the Fred. Is bad. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't the Fred show today. Yeah. I feel like that's good though yeah. for United. Yeah. Not much, is it? yeah. yeah. I, f I feel like it wasn't the Fred show today. So in the case of we weren't relying on Fred to to give the energy because we had the energy with uh, with Bradley Williams. We had the technical abilities from Mato. Yeah. So today Fred basically received the ball and made a it's move. Like he didn't have to be as involved as yeah. he normally is today because other players kind of stepped up is what I felt. But We want that though. Yeah. But to be fair, six and a seven is, is yeah. not much. Yeah. I, 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 you know, but okay, fair enough. Okay, 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 next player, next player. Six or a seven, put it to you guys. Andreas Pereira. Uh, you know what? He actually played decently, decent, decent today. Really, like, first yes, half, I thought. First yeah. half, technical ability is almost coming out a bit now, but still hogging the ball a bit too much. Mm -hmm. Where we had that classic counter where the Martial and Rashford made, like, or crossed each other and made the runs. He's holding on to that ball a bit too much. But technical wise, te he got out of ability. one situation in the first yeah. half. It was by our touchline. Yeah. Some yeah. next feet, and I was like, oh, it's like he's gone. Yo. Remember, I am actually Brazilian. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't don't forget, <laughs> I, I still am. Like, yeah, I played yeah, football yeah, like yeah, uh, Coca Bull yeah. on the beach with no yeah. no yeah. shoes on and that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, he had that control. Yeah. I seen a bit of that. But what I liked about his game today and um, was his movement. So mm. the pressing, obviously, the energy is all there. Yeah. But technically, on the ball. He was popping up different. He was confusing Norwich because mm. they didn't know what to do, whether to mark him, yeah. whether because he was going from left to right to yeah. centre, mm. going forward and then dropping back. So yeah. I, I, I would give him a seven today because the fact that he was more involved in the game and this was a game where Norwich sat back yeah. and we needed him to create things and, and he, he did, did. To be fair, he yeah. did. He did. Everyone agree with a seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah seven. Aaron, um, into the final three now. Um, let's go left mid or left wing, should I say, um, and that was Rashford. Uh, two goals again today. There's nothing to say about this guy, man. I, I've been one of his biggest critics since the start of the season, but he kept proving me wrong. And at this moment, I can just hold up my hands and say that like, he's been fantastic. Today again, two goals. He's doing what we expect him to do. He may not have made the runs and sometimes the decision making wasn't the best, but in the end, that run he made for that first goal was fantastic. Mm. That's why Matt spotted him and he got the goal, penalty as well. 
and overall just a very solid performance. I'll give him an eight today. Yeah. yeah, another two goals. And to, uh, to take another penalty against Tim Krul, um, <laughs> I was more thinking four. I remember what happened at, um, at Carrow Road. And, um, and just Tim Krul in general is good at yeah, saving yeah. pens. Oh, and he went the right way. And it was such a good penalty that yeah. in the corner. So, hard, yeah. Got, I think he's got his finger, fingertips to it. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, so, yeah. Eight, solid eight round here, yeah? Yeah, 100%. Okay, uh, back to you. Um, we'll go with Marshall. Got his goal in the end. Yeah, yeah. I thought today, again, People are molding. I think that I was in the East End. That people are molding at him, saying, "Oh, he's, he's taking too long on the ball and he's coming forward." But every time he lost the ball, he went for it in the ball and he got the ball back again. Which I feel like that shows how much of a top player he is and his willingness and his, his attitude. You can never doubt his attitude today. And I thought today he was everywhere. I thought he came alive in the second half more than the first half. I thought second half they bought what, what, what the question was. Oli was telling him, "Get the ball and pray it beyond the defenders, not to him where they came close to him." Let's get it beyond him. And when, when that happened, he dragged the defenders wide, brought Pereira into play, brought everyone into play. That's what he does for me, clever. He gets everyone else into play. He might not be the, the top number nine everyone dreams of, but he does not Yeah. <laughs> Original Martial FC here, man. Are you kidding me? We remember what you were saying, man. Put some respect on his name, man. It's not just this game, man. All season, my guy's been grafting, man. Put some respect on him. about the Harry Maguire and all that talk, man. Martial FC, man. Original, man. Director, hey, hey, general, hey, man. Hey, hey, Are you kidding we're me, not man? Trying to Hey, hey, hey. It's about the time, mate. No, 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 Marshall, name, man. See, we're not trying to have a divide between the fans. He's a Manchester United player and we support them all the same. Exactly. Um, and he scored a header, but header. away from that, the that. type of goal that he did score, it was like yeah. an un martial like goal, which yeah. is good, which is good. Yeah, I've, having said yeah. all that, I think a seven is, is, is about right because of the fact that he's got the goal and his all-round performance in the second half, for me, was a brilliant. Yeah. Everyone agree with that, seven? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 cool. Uh, Miles. You, I, I feel like you want to give an eight, innit? You want to give an eight, innit? I let it go. Give an eight, yeah, then. Man. I, my, my, that's Martial to, to, right. today on a wet, windy day when the ball is moving about. Things weren't coming off for him in the first half. In the, you know what? In the second half, he still he carried on. And in the a couple of seasons ago, Martial might mm. have just been, you know what? But today he was at it, mm. and he occupied him. And soon as he went off. They took control of the game because yeah. nobody like, was holding on the ball. As mm. soon as he went off, you've seen it. They changed it. Obviously, they changed the shape. They changed their formation. But still, as soon as he went off, there was nobody up there holding the ball yeah, for us. It did kind of. It did kind of. But I will, I will say, though, again, I don't know if me, I was maybe seeing a lot of things different. First half, I didn't think he was great. No, that's what I said. I, yeah, I think, I think his, his touch was off. Yeah, um, definitely, what, definitely. What, what, what was good was his definitely. willingness to try and win it back, which we don't always see sliding in, win it back. But um, his touch weren't great. He was, he was off by his own standards. Yeah. But second half, got his goal and, and he was good. Um, on the right, it was um, uh, Matter man. I'm great just, performance from him. You know what, it's fallen to me. Yeah, I'm you've been so, calling it for a while, I'm along so, with Ricky. Yeah, I'm so happy <laughs> that... I know, I'm, 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 as, I'm as mad as Ricky. <laughs> no, next time I see him, I'll tell him, man. You yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, man, but listen, I've been, I've been screaming Matter for a long time and I'm so glad that he fell to me because I was actually like thinking, oh, okay, he's got this yeah, player. I was thinking, like when's Matter coming to you? I should have just swerved you then, didn't I? I was going to whisper in your ear, like, give me that still. But... Matter, I've always been calling for Matter to be in the team at, at times. And, you know, I said to you that, OK, he has lost his legs. He's, he hasn't got the pace that he once had and he never really had a lot of pace. Mm. But what he has is vision and he can he can just find you like at any point. Yeah. And his he puts the right amount of um, amount of heat on the ball. So like he never he never really overcooks it. Mm. If anything, he'll under he'll under hit it kind of thing. Mm. Always find you at your head, at your feet. Um, he's um, given two assists, mm -hmm. two, two assists. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he is. He's spot on today. Yeah, he he was he was he was incredible. And for Magical. me, yeah, and for me, it kind of so f he was on, on started on the right wing and then was a bit more free mm. form, right? But for me, if I'm Andreas um, Pereira, I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm the number ten, mm. and yet someone else has outcreated me. But right? then no, but then well, yeah, it's true. Oh, but but matter that is that's why it shows his levels like World Cup with like yeah. it shows that that's yeah. why matter is like it's, it's, yeah. You know, and you know, okay, you know, he doesn't have the pace that he once had. But mm. in games like this, yeah, when you need someone to pick out a pass, we're talking about Bruno Fernandez coming in, yeah, mm. which he needs to come in. Don't get yeah. it twisted. But yeah. at the moment, while we don't have him, don't, I'm not going to say anything mad. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> while, while while we don't have him, yeah. matter is the only one who can create, yeah. and I'm mm. talking about create on another level. Mm. Andreas Pereira can't put in them kind of balls. Mm. Matt, they he they. All our other creative players don't have that vision. Mm. And it's that, the second one that he um, assisted, was it for Martial? Martial said, yeah. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Uh, yeah. I mean, when. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> um, it's got to be a nine for me. Uh, he was my um, man of the match, and I, I give him a nine. Yeah? Yes. Listen, 
You've missed out my player, innit? you missed out the player, mate. I think you might, you might have done it. I'll give you some credit for it. Oh my God, we missed out Brandon, Brandon Williams. Williams That's the man of the match for me, mate. Man of the match, mate. Oh, how I did I even... I was no, waiting. but you know what? I, I don't, I, apart from I you waiting. saying it, none of you lot clocked it anyway, so. I, 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 yeah, was I, mean, I thought I'd just chuck that one in there to see if you lot knew. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait there, hold on, wait there, wait there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that, is that, wait, does everyone agree on matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but which takes Brandon us Brandon. to Brand to Brandon, Brandon Williams. Why do I always think it used to be Lukaku? I used to forget him every time last year. But that's because he was <laughs> just playing crap. Boy, but Brandon Williams was superb today, man. Mancunian made, mate. No need, no resting, mate. Mancunian made. That kid took me. You know what? Watching him today was such a pleasure because, mm. like I said, I was defending Luke Shaw a lot. But Luke Shaw took me some dark alleys, mate, dark tunnels. <laughs> Brandon Williams bought the light, mate. He bought the light. The kid was walking on water today, mate. Walking on water, yeah. mate. He looks so bright Bro, every time. Biblical. He's refreshing, isn't it? Listen, I didn't want to get too biblical for him, you know what I mean? There might be some Christians out there watching this. You Again, know what I, mean? I don't want to get too... Nuruddin. <laughs> Just answer the question. Keep man. away from <laughs> politics, religion, <laughs> and all that. Just talk about football. Yo, man walked on water today. What are you giving him? It w nine and a half, mate. Nine. I don't do high nines. I do nine and a half, mate. Man of the match, mate. Man of the match. Man of the match. Man of the match. Really imagine, he? um, he's going with a nine for Brandon Williams. That uh, high for you guys? Or? I agree with what he said, but I'll give him an eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll give him an eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. I agree with everything he said. Yeah. I agree with everything he said, but for me, you know, Mata is my, you know, my yeah. guy for this game. But Brandon Williams, yeah. everything you said, I, e I yeah. echo. Um, so Are yeah. you saying eight as well? Yeah, I, no, I was going for nine, me. I thought it was essential to everything United did today. Okay. Um, very close, two nines and two eights. Mason Greenwood off the bench. Only played 20 minutes, Seven. touched the ball as soon as he touched it, Gone out of his feet, Gone bang. Gone man, that's what we want from him, man. That's what we, that's what we like to see. Amazing, One touch, two touches, never free, never Don't promote the use of guns. <laughs> <laughs> we mean a lot. Wait, disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer <laughs> FC, bro. <laughs> that's, that's the intro, by the way. <laughs> that's what I mean, though. You have to, you, uh, look, we are not saying go and get guns and uh, no. North Korea stand, no. mate, still. <laughs> Stop saying that. Yo, Stop man, saying I, that. I'm, Josh, get the bleeps. Start bleeping them bits up. <laughs> gonna have to cut. But yeah, Greenwood. Yeah, yeah, Mason Greenwood, outstanding. When I listen, I'll give him a seven, bro. Yeah. I'll give him a seven. He came off the bench, got a few good touches here and there, dropped deep a little bit, mm. and then yeah, the goal. The goal is just. It's just so simple for a minute. It's just. It looks simple, but it actually isn't. But because it's him, he just gets it, touch, boom, and that's it. He wants to shoot every time. You know, you know why that is though? It's because he doesn't let goalkeeper set goalkeeper set on certain certain two when they think they can anticipate yeah. the shot. Yeah. He doesn't. He almost does whatever he does. And with always his finds a corner. And yeah. almost like bang. Yeah. So he Instant. punches that ball before they can set. Yeah. That's why he always finds, especially that corner. It's that corner as well. Yeah. That's his favorite place in the Stratford and in that yeah. corner. Good. Yeah. Um, so sevens around for him, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan James. He did all right. Are we know? just going to say that out loud? Yeah, he, he did all right. Five, right, did yeah. Right, yeah. I'm um, glad that he got rested he today, though. I'm yeah. glad. That was a good call. That was a call, man. Yeah. I think he looks out of form, man. It is, it is time, man. Yeah. I reckon I would put him in against Wolves. I would put him in against Wolves to build the confidence up again. Yeah. So five for me. Okay. Um, the third substitute was... Was that even Gomez. the third? Gomez. Gomez. Yeah, Came yeah, on. Yeah. Five, yeah? yeah? Okay. And then um, I'll ask you both individually, but be very quick on it. Um, Solskjaer's rating. Yeah, I would go for... A, you know what? I'll go for eight today. I think, you know... Um, the formation is set up today. Look at him. <laughs> the formation, yeah. just what I mean, people don't realise that I give credit where it's true, but yeah. you know, that's for another yeah. day. But um, the formation and the, the set up today yeah. match Norwich's vulnerabilities. Yeah. So I think what we needed, we got out there and I think the players play with a bit of confidence and I think he put that reaction in there. So credit where it's true today, got it right. So you agree with that? I agree with that. We bounced back from the, the from our last game, and the, they moved the ball a lot quicker. He's clearly told them to move the ball quicker because in previous yeah. games we haven't moved the ball quick enough at all. Um, so yeah, guess yeah. from me. That was the best half under his reign, and the best half I've seen from United. In best a, half a under his reign. On, on, the, on, on, on Old Trafford. Best half under his reign at Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. Yeah. Better than Tottenham first half. Listen, no, yeah, listen, listen no, no. I, listen, I'm talking about completely in okay. the whole first half. They had one chance. Mm. Norwich had one chance. That that was the best way I've seen United literally play. Mm. Don't, listen, but we had one we shot on target and that was the goal. Well, listen, we got smacked by Watford, but it was basically okay. the last touches, bro. Yeah. If the play was good, it yeah. was the last touches. Okay. It was so what, you, you're going to agree with the eight? Yeah, I, I, you know what? It was a reaction. He needed a reaction. He needs to stop this Jackie Norris stories and start coming out with all this nonsense. Yeah, and just, know. and you know what? And just, just do what he has to do, work with the players, get the best out of them. And that's what he did today. It was a reaction, obviously, after that. It was a huge humiliation, embarrassment. Yeah. 
you know, we're the biggest, we're the most watched team. We've got the biggest fan base in the world. So of course, mm. it's got to come out. And okay. today, the game management, me and Aaron were calling the substitutions. Yeah. It's yeah. like me, me and him were managing today, mate. You might as well have... You agree with it, eight? Go Happy Wally? That to me, the most important thing today was the substitutions and they came at the right time. And that for me was outstanding, yeah. Cool. All right, we've come to the end of the player ratings. Uh, first of all, I've got a big up uh, Fresh Eagle Kid FC and United Stand. We've got a game down there tomorrow in Rainers Lane. £2.50 to get in, so don't come with your tight self asking for guest lists. Just pay, <laughs> <laughs> Just pay the £2.50, yeah? You know the man that, the man that in your WhatsApp, oi, what I'm going for tomorrow? <laughs> well, it's £2.50. Yo, 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 pay, 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 yo, pay the £2.50 yo, and I'll see yo. you there. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? I hate all that. No back, so that's that. Uh, and secondly, the coffee. As, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And secondly, um, an evening with Andy Cole. I'll be doing that um, next week on Thursday in, in Shepherd's Bush as well. That's going to be a great evening. Link in the description below as well for tickets for that. And lastly, I want to big up a couple of guys who came on from the Red Army who come over to talk to us. Um, one guy come and done a fan cam and one guy spoke to us off camera. Um, that's, that's how it should be, man. Difference of opinions and stuff like that. There was no animosity um, and, and just he had his say. Um, so, yeah, it was brilliant. So that's, that's good to see. That's what we want. That's what we want to put. That's what we want to do, man. Um, and those guys are really vocal today and, and a lot of other sections of the crowd as well um, in, in terms of singing up against the owners and, and Ed Woodward and stuff. And we can all agree that that, yeah. that, is, a, that is a key area of, of where we do need to unite um, and, 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 and go up against that. So shout out to those guys who came on the channel and, and had a chat with us afterwards. Um, um, yeah, so uh, drop your views in the comments in the boxes below. Not a lot to disagree with today, apart from how high do you want to go, really, um, with the player rating. So let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you guys after we've beaten Wolver in the fourth round in the FA Cup. No, Tough yeah. Game, mate. Tough no? Game. Wolves got a draw today. They're starting to starting to falter a little bit. No, no. You don't know. Raúl Jiménez got an eye on coming here. Not going to be up for it. Listen, Listen yeah. you know what? <laughs> Nuno Spirito Santos, mate. Good man. The, the, the guys. That's a religious thing, man. They keep telling me don't bring it. This guy. Right, I'm going to get out of here before he gets us sued. Right, latest peace. <laughs> Thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.